So there is this raging debate in the black community around this time of the year on whether we should or should not celebrate such holidays as Canada Day or July 4th. And some of the prominent members of the black community, like the illustrious Dr. Umar Johnson, goes as far as calling it the oppressor's day of freedom. So here is a clip dating back to 2021 where the good doctor is sharing his thoughts on the matter. Run the receipts, Jesse. July 4th, 2021. I better not catch a Negro celebrating it. July 4th, 2021. We are not playing. The Goonie Goon Goons, the Ski Mask Club. We better not see no cookouts. We better not see no celebrations. We better not see no red, white, and blue flags. I better not catch one of you coons celebrating your oppressor's freedom. I better not. I better not. I better not catch a coon on July 4th celebrating this slave master's freedom. I better not. We're not having it this year. We have to give up this American citizenship and we must now identify as Africans. Africans in America. That's who we are. We are a pop. We are a nation of Africans. Go have you do. It's come for the cookouts. The cookout has not only been a friend, but a sanctuary to the black community for hundreds of years. They were here before you. They'll be here long after you're gone. You are overstepping your bounds. What do you have against hot dogs, sir? You won't eat a burger because of slavery? You sound hungry and ridiculous. Now, here's a little tidbit of advice about this whole Africa talk from someone who was not only born there, but also lived the majority of his life there. You don't have what it takes to survive in most of Africa. Don't let these Igbo and Shio fool you. Ain't shit sweet on 90% of the continent. They're throwing homosexuals off of roofs in Uganda, Dr. Umar. Uganda is not Wakanda. You're confused. You call yourself a revolutionary. But here is the thing. We don't like revolutionaries in Africa. We call them rebels. And they're always bad news. See, the only reason why you can speak truth to power, you know, be a revolutionary, is because of those same freedoms you're refusing to celebrate. Because where I come from, speaking ill of the state is an act of terrorism punishable by vanishment. Poof, just like that. In the dead of the night, viva la revolution. So if you intend to continue on this path of revolution once you get to Africa, you're going to need at least 2,500 child soldiers and the corresponding number of AK-47s. Now, lucky for you, Victor Boot is out of jail and business is booming again. You want to go back to Africa. We got mosquitoes the size of cows, Dr. Umar. You don't have what it you don't have the necessary antibodies to survive malaria, sir. This is a suicide mission. What? You think what? All these thousands of people drowning in the Mediterranean every year are leaving a utopia behind to come be under the white man's thumb? We still got slaves, Dr. Umar. There was no emancipation proclamation in the Congo, sir. 
There is brothers in chains right now digging for the lithium inside the iPhone. You're getting so sassy. See, at least you and I can find common ground here. Because when it comes to slavery, I am just as mad as you are that white people beat us to the punch. Because let's tell the truth. If you and I had invented the sailboat or the firearm before they did, there will be gingers picking cotton in Botswana to this day. Why, you think we're the only group of people immune to the taste of the sweet nectar of free labor? You are a child. So yes, Dr. Umar, you will eat a glizzy and wash it down with a bud this July 4th. And when Beyonce's Before I Let Go comes on, you will dance like the true American patriot you are, sir. Absolutely preposterous. You like that clip? So why don't you go ahead and click here for the full podcast. Or maybe you want to check out my new movie where you can sell about differences. Go ahead and click here. And if you're in the mood for some stand-up comedy and you want to check out my new special entitled Daddy, Are We Famous Yet? The link is in the description. Or maybe you want to check out my new book called Sons of Monarchy. The link is in the description as well. In the meantime, why don't you be a gem, share, subscribe, comment, and maybe hit that bell notification so you know when we're creating new content.